What's up YouTube, JP here, and we haven't done a video on the Steam Deck for quite some time, so let's change that. In this video, I'm going to be showing you a different way on how to install a repack or cracked game. So without further delay, let's dive in. Now I have done a video on this process before, and if you haven't seen that video, click up here to go check that out. But for all intents and purposes, this is going to be a slightly different way of doing it. So the things you're going to need to do this is obviously a Steam Deck. Then you're going to need some way of transferring that repack to your Steam Deck. So this could be an M.2, an SD card or a USB memory stick. Uh, you can also transfer it across the network if you so wish. I did a video on that as well. And again, you can click up here and go and check that out. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be installing the repack of the new Robocop game on my Steam Deck. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use a program called Proton Tweaks. And what this will enable us to do is install some of those dependencies, those Microsoft C++ and runtimes, etc. And then finally, we need to sort out all that cover art. So we're going to be using Deckyloader, which is a plugin manager, and then we're going to use Steam Grid DB to actually populate all that cover up. So just before we get on with it, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, and then hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads. As well, I'm not going to be showing you how to get repacks in this video. You're going to have to do that little bit yourself. So enough waffling on. Let's jump on over to the Steam Deck and get this process started. So I've turned the Steam Deck on and I've gone into desktop mode. I've plugged in a USB stick which has my Robocop repack on it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this to the desktop. Now this can take some time depending on how big the repack is. So let's fast forward ahead until it's finished. So now that's all copied across, you want to open the folder and look for the setup.exe. Right click on it and then add to Steam. And what this is going to do is going to add it to your Steam library. Now we're going to want somewhere to install these games to. So I'm going to create a new folder on the desktop and just call it games. Now, of course, you can create a folder anywhere you like. I'm just putting it on the desktop for simplicity. So if we go into Steam, what we're going to be looking for in the library is that setup.exe. And there we go. So if we click on that, then you're going to want to click on the cog and go to properties because we need to set up the compatibility so we'll force compatibility and we'll set it to proton experimental now we can actually install the game by clicking play now the setup process will look very similar to on the pc so select your language turn the volume off if you don't want to listen to it and then click next Next again. Now you need to choose a location, hit browse, and because we had it on the desktop, the location is going to be the Z drive, then it's home, then it's deck, then it's desktop, and then there you can see that games folder. Click OK, click next. You can untick all these because we're going to be installing these separately with Proton Tricks later. Install and then just wait for the install process to finish. Two hours later. So once the install's done, you're going to see this screen. You can just untick all these because we don't want to launch it at the moment. Then you'll get this verify. Just click X on this as well. You don't really need to verify it. The next step is to remove the setup.exe from the library. Now you can do this just by right clicking on it, click on manage and then remove non steam game from library. The next step is to go into the games folder, find the game where it's installed and then do the same thing with the setup.exe but with the main game exe. So you might have to do some digging around for this but for Robocop it's in the root. Just right click on it and add to Steam. And then again we need to set that compatibility. 
So back to the library, and as it's called robocop.exe, that's what we're going to look for. Click on the cog, properties, and then we're going to set that compatibility exactly the same Proton Experimental. So for demo purposes, I'm just going to launch the game to show you what happens because we're going to get a C++ runtime error. And there it is. Now to fix this, you need to go to the discovery store if you haven't already got Proton Tricks and basically type in Proton Tricks and do a search. So it's this application that you need here. Now I've already got it, so it's already installed, but what you want to do is run that application. And this will be the first screen that you see. So you can see there's a couple of games installed, but we can see Robocop. So hit OK. Now this application does things in the background, so it might take some time. So I've left it at real time, so you see how long it takes. Now when this window pops up, select the default win prefix and then it's the top option. Install a Windows DLL or component. Now this is where you need to choose the component. Now I know that Robocop needs VC Run 2022. So we're going to scroll all the way down on the left hand side. And there we go right at the bottom there VC Run. 2022, 2015 to 2022, basically. Now, different games will need different components. So you're going to have to do your research when it comes to what components are required for the games that you want to run. But after some time, you're going to get a pop up. Just click OK. We got another one here. We're just going to click yes. And here we go. This looks familiar. Microsoft Visual C++. So we're going to install this and it's really quick. And you'll close it. Then we're going to get another pop up. Click OK. And we should get another Visual Studio pop up after we click yes again. Here we go. Tick the box. Install. And that again will be nice and quick. Now, when we get to this bit, we can just cancel, close, X, get rid of it. Now, if we click play on the game now, you'll notice we do not get that C++ error. In fact, the game just loads. Now, we've got one last thing to do. So I'm actually going to cancel this. We're going to go to game mode and we're going to sort that cover art out first. Then we'll actually launch the game and play it. So as you can see, the game is there, robocop.exe, but unfortunately there's no cover art. So we need to fix that now. So what we're going to use is the Deculoader plugin manager and then the plugin Steam Grid DB. Now you can install Deculoader from the GitHub and then you just go to the store and you'll be able to grab Steam Grid DB without any issues. So to search and add the cover art, we're going to go to the library and then go across to non steam games. We're going to look for the robocop.exe and then we're going to push the start button or the three lines that's on basically right at the top on the right hand side. And then we can go to change artwork. And what it's going to do is going to basically search for the artwork based on what the exe is called. Now, because this exe is called Robocop is basically going to show us all different kinds of Robocop artwork. So for the capsule, you're just going to basically choose which one is appropriate. Then we've got the wide capsule again, which is going to go through, look at all the cover art that's basically offered to us and select which one's appropriate. Now, if the EXE is called something obscure that's not really related to the game, then you can rename that just so the search results are more applicable to the game that you're trying to find the cover art for. So I'm still going through selecting all the icons, etc. When you get to the actual icon, though, you're going to have to restart the Steam Deck. So now we're back at the home screen. You can see that we've got that cover art there. So we've got the first sort of icon and then you can see in the background, we've got the background icon as well. Uh, if we go to the library, we can also see that that icon is now there as well. So that looks great. We've got all the icons. 
let's launch the game and I'll fast forward until we get into some gameplay to see what it runs like on the Steam Deck. Lieutenant said the main entrance to the TV station. The ground's shaky. Judgment Day is here! Hey, handsome, we're here for the show! They, they came out of the trucks and they, they just started shooting at anything that moved. I wouldn't bother. El Rey ran the plates. You should know by now when it comes to evidence. If it keeps on like this, we're gonna run short of five bodies. I'm gonna give you 10 milligrams of diet. Now I'm running this game at the lowest settings you can and we're getting around 45 FPS on average. It's not amazing, but it is playable. After all, you gotta remember, the Steam Deck is nowhere near as powerful as some of the other handhelds that are out there. Now one thing I will say, it can take a long time to install repacks on the Steam Deck because first you've got to copy them across and then install them. So you're basically reading and writing from that internal SSD at the same time and of course it depends how fast that SSD is. In my Steam Deck, I'm using a Gen 3 SSD, NVMe of course, but I think it'd be a lot faster if there was a Gen 4 in there. Now, if you do run into any difficulties and need some help, drop a comment below, or you can join the official Alien Retro Gaming Guild. And someone over there, most likely me, will be able to help you with this because not that many people have a Steam Deck compared to the Nintendo Switch. So if you do need any help, drop a comment below, join the guild, send me a message and I'll do my best to help you. So I'm going to end the video here. If you enjoy my content, don't forget to like, subscribe and then hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads. I'm JP, you've been watching Alien Retro Gaming and I'll catch you in the next one.